I'm Michael, and my sailboat by you. And on this passage, I'm off to sea with my 10-year-old grandson, Ishi. The passage is about big fish, the royal order of the worms, and a fun four days at sea. Months ago, I started preparing my sailboat, Vayu, for an adventure to the Eastern Med, and at the same time, to launch this channel. And due to the war in Ukraine, we named it Sailing for Peace as well, making monthly donations to save the children. The first three episodes are about the preparation ending in the shakedown from hell. Now the time has come to take off from Palma de Mallorca for Sicily with my grandson, his father, and my good friend. Join us in this adventure and subscribe to get notified of the next episode. But before taking off, it's been a busy few months of activity around both Vayu and the launching of this channel. Constant trips to the boat in Poyenza on the north of the island of Mallorca and home to Palma on the south of the island. We redid the main cabin from a place stuffed with furniture to a place we can turn the table into a day bed. We tested a new storm sail for violent weather. And for when the weather is kinder, I tested a Code Zero spinnaker on a beautiful day. And over the months, lots of other little bits and pieces. I have to confess, I underestimated the challenge of launching this channel. Oh my God. Oh my God is all I can say. Nothing more, except thank you for your support. All this time, preparing to leave, and now the time to leave has come. It's been um, six months of preparation. I've suffered through three vlogs. It's been a shakedown from hell. And finally, granddad is on his way, leaving Palma de Mallorca headed for Palermo on a warm, overcast, sort of a heavy, humid day. And Javi has promised that we're going to catch some good fish. I've never seen a man more sure of the fact that we're going to catch some fish. Everything on this boat has a name, starting with the lure that's at the end of that line. The lure's name is Marlboro and it was named by Javi, our main crewman here, and a good friend who kept us company on the Gale Sail trial. And there's Ishmael, Ishi, my grandson. He's the representative of the Royal Order of the Worms here. And there's Dad Peter, my son, Ishi's father. And the name of the autopilot is Otto von Pilot, and the name of the wind vane is Mario. Got this beautiful wind, about 12 knots just moving along on a lovely reach going seven knots. Sort of getting that loving feeling. Makes me remember why I do this. Optimism reigned as we went through our first day of getting settled in, preparing for the big fish, followed by some easy sailing weather, some cooking, catching up with some sleep, and eventually settling in for the first night of watches, with good wind, boat speed, and spirits. Quite a beautiful evening, actually. 10 knots of wind, moving at six knots, in a close reach. This is how dark it is, watch. Yeah, I'm still here. After a windy but uneventful night, I have the dawn watch. But quite unexpectedly, as soon as our breakfast was over, the big fish hit.
what frustration. The big one got away, lure and all. They have been a bit unlucky in the fishing department. Javi and Peter and hooked this beautiful, must have been a huge fish. And the line was just not strong enough to hold it and it broke. But it could have been a nice size tuna for sure. But we are having some beautiful sail. And this she's initiation into the Royal Order of the Worms is on track for celebration as soon as we arrive in Palermo. Four o'clock on our third day. Right now we're on the southern tip of Sardinia. Well, really blowing about 17, gusting to 24, 25. Just have the main up, that's all we need. Moving along at a very comfortable speed. In good company, good food. I'm looking forward to uh, swim. Do it for Hollywood. Yo! Okay, is she you going? No. No. Not up here. Now that is a wise answer from Ishmael. He is not going to dive off the bow of the boat. 150 miles from Palermo, more than two thirds of the way from Palma. Stop for a little swim. It just doesn't matter what age you are, dolphins are magic. They're magic when you're a child, they're magic when you're middle-aged, and they're magic when you're getting older. I love seeing dolphins. I've always loved seeing dolphins. The time has come to let you in on the mystery of the Royal Order of the Worms. Last summer on a little family cruise, Ishii's cousins could not keep still for one moment. So rather than drown them all, I became silly. I told them, you are just a bunch of worthless worms wriggling around and making unintelligible noises. They were not offended in the least, and their senior member seen here with a cigar said, well, if we are worms, then you are the king worm, granddad. Surprisingly, I was quite flattered to be the king of anything. So I accepted this royal appointment. And that is where the royal order of the worms comes from. On this passage, Ishii has performed all the proper rituals of a worm. Seen here in a worm-like recovery from his jet lag, and here pushing his father into the water, and here abusing Felix the dinghy, and of course, resting in the main salon like a worm after a strenuous bout with his iPad. It must be said that this worm Ishii made the passage from Palma with grace, humor, and bravery, never complaining once. So Javi has crowned him with that hat 
and the title of Il Capitano, full-fledged senior member of the Royal Order of the Works. Capitano, Il Capitano Ismael. Here I am in Palermo. We arrived a couple of days ago. Had time to settle in, go out. Crew Ishi got his pizza, he was very happy. And we've been trying all the ice creams. It was a great four day passage. The cooking was tremendous. The company could not have been better. And we're all happy to be in Palermo. The only thing we weren't able to do was catch any fish. And uh, Javi got over his depression about that quickly. And today we're gonna share an amazing tuna meal here on board, cooked by Peter and Javi. If you've enjoyed this episode, check out our other ones. Give us a like and subscribe.